Cellular therapy is classified into two types based on the type of cells used. Stem cell-based cellular therapies and non-stem cell-based cellular therapies. Stem cell-based therapy uses stem cells rather than specialized cells because specialized cells in the body are difficult to obtain and have a limited capacity to multiply. Cellular therapy necessitates a large number of cells for transplantation into a patient's body. Therefore, stem cells are ideal for cell therapy because they proliferate in large numbers. They could be grown or developed into other functional cells or developed outside of the human body, allowing for the production of a large number of cells needed for successful cell therapy applications. Non-stem cell-based cellular therapy employs somatic cells isolated from the human body, propagated, expanded, selected, and then administered to patients for curative, preventive, or diagnostic purposes. The somatic cells involved in non-stem-based cellular therapy include fibroblasts, chondrocytes, keratinocytes, hepatocytes, pancreatic islet cells, and immune cells, such as T-cells, dendritic cells, natural killer cells, and macrophages. Based on the source of the cells, cell therapy can also be classified into autologous and allogeneic cell therapy. While there is a third approach known as xenogenic, it is not commonly used in human cell therapy.